جنة القرآن Islamic Studies Textbook Part 2 I am a Muslim Prepared by Shaykh Dina Asam الجزء الثالث نبي أيوب هنطق الأول الكلمات الصعبة بعد كده هقول القصة بالكامل Wealthy Wealthy Properties Properties Possessed Possessed children children regarding regarding healthy healthy tongue tongue despite despite hardships 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 remained remained steadfast steadfast patience patience multiplied multiplied several several situation situation prolonged prolonged refuge refuge blessed blessed beloved beloved ayub was a wealthy man he had many kinds of properties like cattle and sheep he also possessed vast pieces of land. Ayub had many children and a large family. He was tested on all these things and lost them all. Then he was tested regarding his own body until none of it was left healthy and sound except for his heart and his tongue with which he remembered Allah. Despite these hardships, Ayub remained steadfast in his patience. He remembered Allah and mentioned Him at night and during day, in the morning and in the evening. He did not complain or get angry. Ayub remained in this situation for several years. His illness multiplied and prolonged so long that friends and relatives left him. Ayub was alone in a faraway corner of the land. No one felt any pity for him except his wife who looked after him his wife was patient with him over what had happened in their loss of property and children allah inspired ayub with a dua that was answered that prayer expressed that he has no power it revealed that there is no refuge from allah except in him and that he has the power to do anything Allah accepted his dua, cured his body, restored his family and property to him, and blessed him. Allah says in the Quran, When Ayyub called his Lord, Hardship has visited me, and you are the most merciful of the merciful. We answered him, and removed the hardship that was on him, and we give him his family and the like of them, with them as a mercy from us and reminder to the slaves. The story of the Prophet Ayyub shows the blessing of Allah to his believing slaves who remain patient and thankful and to his beloved prophets. Respect for mankind. Allah created all the people of the world, Muslims and non-Muslims. Allah created the rich and the poor the tall and the short, the black and the white. Allah created some people with disability and He also created others healthy. We must respect all of mankind, respect for parents. We should always be kind and polite to our parents. We should always be kind and polite to our parents. We love and respect them. We obey our parents. We thank them for whatever they do for us. We thank them for whatever they do for us. We make them happy by sweet words, smiles, and with good works. We do not answer them back. We do not speak loudly in front of them. We do not answer them back. We do not speak loudly in front of them. We never do anything without their permission. 
We make small gifts and give them to our parents. Prophet Muhammad said, One day, three men were traveling when they were overtaken by a storm. They decided to take shelter in a cave. Suddenly, a rock fell from the mountain and blocked the exit from the cave. One of them said, Nothing will save you from this rock but to call upon Allah by mentioning the most righteous of your deeds. Righteous, righteous. One of them said, My parents were very old. I used to offer them their milk every night before my children or any family member. One day I went in search for green trees and came back too late. My parents were already asleep, so I could not give them their milk. I neither wanted to disturb them nor feed my children and other family members until my parents had drank first. So I held the container in my hand and waited for them until dawn. While my children cried of hunger, when they awoke, they drank their milk. The man knew that his parents' respect was very important. Gaining the pleasure of Allah was most important to him. Allah saved these men because of their good deeds. Respect for Neighbors Neighbors are those who live around us. Muslims have certain duties towards their neighbors. We must always be helpful towards our neighbors. If our neighbors ask us for help, we should help them. We should always remember to greet them and to be kind to them. Prophet Muhammad said that one whose neighbor is not safe from his mischief shall not enter Jannah. Respect for guests. Guests are those who come to visit us. We should be kind and polite to our guests. Guests should feel welcome in our house. Always greet them with a smile and handshake. We should not disturb the adults when they are speaking. Always offer food and a drink to your guests. Good and bad deeds. Allah commanded us to be good Muslims by obeying Allah and by doing good deeds. Muslims who obey Allah and do good actions will go to Jannah. Muslims who do bad actions and misbehave will go to Jahannam, the hellfire, unless Allah forgives them. When we do a good deed, Allah will give us 10 rewards and even more. Allah loves people who do good deeds. When we do a bad deed, we get a sin. Allah is angry with people who do bad deeds. They should ask Allah to forgive them. They should also say sorry to anyone they have wronged. On doing something wrong, we say, I seek Allah's forgiveness. What good deeds can I do? I say, Assalamu alaikum when I meet someone. I say, Wa alaikum salam when someone greets me. I obey my parents. I love and respect the neighbors. I offer food to the guests. I am nice to my friends. I read and write my lessons well. I wear clean clothes. I do not fight. I do not use bad words. I say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when I hear the Prophet's name. I talk slowly and clearly. I do not shout. I talk slowly and clearly. I do not shout. I make dhikr when I get up in the morning. I give things with my right hand. I am polite to everyone. I say please when I ask for something. I say Jazakallahu khairan when someone does something good for me. I am kind to the poor. 
I help the old people and respect them. I do not harm animals. Prophet Hood. هنطلع الأول الكلمات الصعبة بعد كده هقول القصة بالكامل. Southern. Southern. Arabia. Arabia. Southern Arabia. Southern Arabia. Drought. Drought. Used to. Used to. Used to. Worshipped. Worshipped. False. False. Amongst. Amongst. Commandments. Commandments. Laughed. Laughed. Fortunes. Fortunes. Upset. Upset. Horizon. Horizon. Many years ago, there was a tribe in southern Arabia which was called Ad. They used to build beautiful large houses. They worshipped false gods and forgot about Allah. Hud lived amongst the people of Ad. Allah chose him to be his prophet. Hud asked the people of Ad to worship only Allah and obey his commandments. He also advised them to do good and do not commit wrong and evil. Hud warned them that Allah will punish them if they do listen to him. The people of Ad did not listen to Hud. They laughed at Prophet Hud and said, We are not going to stop worshipping our gods. Prove to us who you are a prophet. Tell Allah to send us the punishment. Hud was upset with what they said. He told the people, I am not a liar. I am a prophet of Allah. Remember that Allah has given you your fortunes. He is my Lord and your Lord. Trust only him. I have already warned you before. If you do not obey Allah, he will choose some other people to take your place. Allah knows and hears everything. Allah is my witness. I put my trust in my Lord who has power over all things. The country was dry and they had drought for a few years. Plants, animals and people were dying. The people turned to their gods which they were worshipping for help. Nothing happened. Prophet Hood tried very hard to stop the people from doing bad but they did not want to change. He gave them a final warning. Allah will take you away and replace you with bitter people. But no one listened to Prophet Hood. One day, a cloud was seen coming over the horizon. Everybody was happy as it looked like a rain cloud. But they were mistaken. The cloud brought a terrible wind which destroyed the plants and everything. Nothing was left. Only Prophet Hood and the believing followers were saved. We learn from this story. We should not laugh at anyone. We must treat everyone with respect. We should obey Allah and fear his punishment. If we thank Allah for his blessings and obey him, he will protect us and give us more blessings.